Hey Simmers is Passions, welcome to my channel and part 5 of the hats. So as you can see in our last part, um, Isabel got engaged to Theo. And um, yes, it was just quite a surprise. I was not even expecting it, but thank God that I recorded it and I was able to take um, a clip of everything. And they enjoyed their little vacation, they're happy. You know, I just hope there's no consequences due to her uh, being all frisque and stuff and woohooing. Um, she still has a lot of things to do before they get married. Um, especially she still has one more relationship that she needs to end. So, yeah. She doesn't want to hurt anybody, but she has to do what she has to do. Okay, so she's going to end her relationship with Devin Ashton. You know, she's... She feels bad, you know, because she doesn't want to hurt him. But, you know, she's in love with Theo. She's um, she's engaged to him. And um, she wants to take that next uh, step in her relationship with uh, Theo. And she won't be able to do that if she's still with Devin. So she's going to end things with Devin. And um, Theo is going to go home, uh, confess the truth to his wife, let her know what's, you know, what's been going on with him and Isabel. And just tell her, you know, that their marriage is, you know, it's just paper. It's just for show due to his career. And um, he's found his true love and he wants to be with her. And he hopes that she understands that because she knew that it was going to happen in, in the future when she married him. He told her that, you know, that their marriage was just um, for convenience. So hopefully she'll understand and, you know. And they'll be able to move past it and move on and she'll give him the divorce. She had just came back from work. She had gotten a promotion. She's already at level 8 in her career. So she's making good money. And uh, she's w one level away from fulfilling her lifetime wish. So that's great. She's engaged. Um, she's one level away of becoming a... A five-star celebrity so we're doing great we're doing real good uh, this is the fifth part so we're doing great so I guess then the next three parts um, should be good yeah I'm like don't get her wrong she's nervous you know she's worried she's thinking about Theo she's wondering if Margot is, is willing to understand the whole situation I'm like is she willing to let go the type of life that she, um, Theo has been giving her um, since they've been together, I'm um, like, I don't know. Is she going to convince Theo of staying with her and then she's going to get her heart broken? I'm like, she's scared. She's nervous about this whole situation. She doesn't even understand why she got herself into this. But, you know, she fell in love and now she's just hopes and prays that everything works out. You know, so we'll see. All right. Uh, let's see. It's going to be 7 o'clock. Let's see. This this do a couple of things that she wants to get done um she wants to discover a new invention um all right so i guess we can have her invent what is this she wants to write a romance novel i don't know if we have time to to be writing a romance novel no no she might we might throw a little party. We might do that. Um, yeah. We might do that. Well, I guess they can throw a, an engagement party or something like that once um, Theodore has asked. I think her name is Margo. I keep forgetting her name. Um, Margo, I think it is, for divorce. Let's see. Yeah, Margo. I think um, once that happens, then, you know. All right, let's click play here. Let's have her go invent something, and then she wants to make a sleepy, sleeping elixir, 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 elixir potion. All right, and she wants to invite somebody over. I'm like, you can do all of these things. What is this? Make a metal sculpture. Um, I guess that's the one she has I, I just turned the game on so my bill it's gonna be laggy ish 
So I'm still recording in my old computer. I just, like I said, I'm going to be finishing these LP in my old computer because I don't feel like installing The Sims 3 on my computer and um, all, and also installing all the stuff that I've gotten from The Sims 3 store plus other custom content. I just don't feel like going through all of that. So I'm just going to finish... Um, Recording all of my Sims 1, Sims 2, Sims 3 series in this old PC and then just start my new LPs in my new PC. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Alright. So let's see what she's doing. Okay. Well, what I'm going to... Ooh, she just hammered her finger. All right. So, while she's doing that, I'm going to, you know, stop it here, and I'm going to forward it, and then when she's done, then we'll see. Okay. So, she invented the harvester. I guess she can use this to harvest um, her fruits and her veggies. I'm assuming this is what it's used for. I guess we can try it out and, and find out exactly if that's what it's for. I'm assuming it is. Uh, can I know who are you and why are you standing in front of my house? Who is this? Romeo Rick. What is Romeo doing here? What is he doing here? Uh, we broke up. Why are you here? Are you stalking me? Oh no, Isabel. I think you got a stalker, girl. Be flirted with. Uh, she's feeling nauseous. Yeah, I know you're feeling disgusted. I understand that. I, I I don't blame you. But can I know why? Why is she feeling nauseous? She hasn't really eaten anything. Oh no, I think that vacation. I hope that vacation didn't. Ew, he just he is walking in our home. Like, he's welcomed in our home. Are you going to allow him to flirt with you, Isabel? Girl, you cannot get married if you're going to be having these issues. Isn't he friends with Theodore? Listen, I know you two have a lot in common, but it just can't be. You ended things with him. He needs to understand that. He needs to go. Yes. He must leave. It's over. You guys are friends. And that's a good thing. I'm like, at least he's... What? What? What's going on? What's going on? I don't get it. Well, anyways, I know she woohooed with Theodore twice. Um, risky woohooing. But it didn't, you know, I didn't hear any um, baby bell sounds. So I, I don't know. Something's happening and I don't know what it is. Uh, okay. He needs to go. He has to go. And he has to leave. I think he is. I think he's leaving. Alright. I guess he... Well, he's still here. He has not left. Oh, no. He needs to leave. Like, who did he think he is? Coming to my home, uninvited. Wanting to flirt with me when things is over. Ugh, she's gonna go vomit. Well, there's no sign or anything stating that she's pregnant. And there was a weird little music sound. Usually we hear it when a person's pregnant, but it's not showing, so I don't know what that means. Alright. 
Isabel, are you going to go vomit or are you just going to stand there? Okay. Isabel just froze, so I need to reset her. This is just lovely. That's why I cannot wait until I'm done playing with The Sims 3. It's gotten to that point that I'm just frustrating with the lagginess and all this crap. Now, her back is hurting because what I knew it was, she's pregnant. My Isabel is pregnant from a married man, nonetheless the mayor of Bridgeport. Now, I don't know what the heck she's going to do. Girl, you better hope. You better hope he gets that divorce. Because if not, you're stuck with a baby. Oh, yeah. By yourself. Single mom. Nothing wrong with that. But you did this to yourself. I told you not to ask all frisque. Ugh. Anyway, she's exhausted. Ugh. She needs to go to bed. This person here has to go. And I can't believe it. She's pregnant. She has to be pregnant. It says from pregnancy. But I don't see the mood list stating that she's pregnant. I don't understand what's going on. I don't know. Oh my God, Isabel. See, that's what happens when you do risky woohooing. Now you're pregnant. Oh God. So... I think we need to let Theodore, Theodore, Nor, Theodore, you know what, we're going to call him Theo, because that's just too much words in my mouth. We're going to let Theo know that we're having his baby. Uh, hey, Dor. Shoop, shoop. Yes. Goodbye. And please, do not invite yourself into my home ever again. Thank you. And uh, since now that we are pregnant, we need to send Devin a breakup text. Can we send him a text? A breakup text? Uh, no, but well, we're not really going out with him. Okay, I guess we're going to have to invite him over and break up with him. guess that's what's going to have to happen because... We can't tell him we just want to be friends through a text all right she needs to go to bed because she's exhausted all right wow <laughs> My Isabel is pregnant, even though we don't have a mood lead that tells us that she is. <sighs> we just know that she's pregnant because, um, her backache. We didn't even get nothing here, nothing. It's just weird. Whatever. Alright, guys. Uh, when she wake up, We'll pick up from there. Okay, so she's getting up now. We still don't have the little pregnancy moodlet. It's just ridiculous. But whatever, I don't know what's going on with this game. Um, She has decided that she's going to invite Devin over. Just for the simple fact that she wants to break it up with him. She wants to... Just tell him that she just wants to be friends. And Ebenezer apparently didn't get it the first time or whatever it was. And he's like, apparently he's not interested in fixing the uh, this relationship. So he has decided to break it off. They're no longer romantic. Which, okay, whatever. Uh, hello. That was the whole point of me telling you I just want to be friends. Well, part of that, he didn't seem to understand. All right. So let's see. Hold on, let's see something. Yeah. We're not even friends, we're just acquaintances. Alright, oh, what's this? Ask Devin about Korea. No, we're not going to ask Devin nothing. We're going to break up with Devin. We just want to tell him that we just want to be friends. Okay? That's all. And then, um... 
Um, oh my god. Then we need to get in contact with Theo and tell him that we're pregnant, but the thing is it's not showing the moment. Ugh, it's not showing it. Anyway, we need to change our outfits. Here it is. Well obviously Can you see who's calling you? Let's see who's calling us. Mm -hmm. See, look, she's even wearing her pregnancy clothes. We didn't pick this outfit for her, but it's so darn cute on her. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Surprise cameo. In film at Pluma Pictures Backlog. Celebrity and Simoleons. Okay, hey, superstar. It's your agent and director. Just call me asking if you'd be willing to do a cameo in his new movie, Llamas vs. Gnomes. Don't worry. I told him you don't do um, cameos without getting paid. Am I right? Head down to Plumbar Pictures Backlot. Why not? We need to get that celebrity point. Um, we'll do it. Let's just break up with Devin first. Then we'll go... Head on that way. Is he even here already? Is he? Let's see. No, this is our mailman. Oh, Devin's here. Okay. So I guess we can... I know we don't want to be mean, but... right away we're just gonna tell him that we just want to be friends and then we gotta head out to our cameo where is he going Isabel what are you what okay so you called him over is that what you're doing let's see Let's see, you're up here. He's over here. Well, I guess you called him over then. Uh, looks that way. Let's see. Oh. He's coming to us. Well, good then. You come here, we break things off with you, and then we'll go and do a cameo. Okay, since you're here, let's just get this and over with. Done with and over with. I don't want to... Let's see. Let's ask him about his day. We don't want to be mean or nothing like that, you know. She's decided that she wants to move on and, and that's it. Oh God, who's calling now? Alright. Okay. Oh god. Oh my god. Is he gonna stay friends with us? Uh, I'm so sorry, Devin. I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but. I decided that we are no longer. Oh. oh, don't be mad. I'm so sorry. Oh, he's an over emotional sim. Oh, great. Please don't cry. I didn't mean for this to hurt. I didn't mean to hurt you. Well, I'm so sorry. Maybe if we apologize, things will be a little bit better. Um. Apologize to him. 
apologize. Well, at least we're still good friends. Isabel, apologize. You're the one that did this. You were playing with their feelings. Ebenezer hates you. Romeo, he's stalking you now. You know, you don't want to add more to your plate. You already have Theo's wife hating your guts. And then she's going to hate you even more when he breaks up with her. Are you going to apologize? Barbara Knipsy Flib. Flib, do. Wish you well. Okay, great. So now that um we've apologized, he's still angry with us. Okay, Devin thinks this was okay. Great. Now we're leaving. I'm so sorry, Devin. I did not mean to break your heart. Devin has to go soon. He's supposed to... Well, good, because I'm supposed to be somewhere else, too. Oh. Bye, Devin. Alrighty. Okay. So... She's going to her cameo. And, um... What I'm going to do is, let me just pause it here. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to end this part here. Oh, look, just in time. Okay, I'm going to end this part right here. I really hope you guys like this part. Um, Isabel has ended all her other old relationships because she, when well, she marries Theodore, Theodore, when she marries Theo, she doesn't want to have any attachments to her. She doesn't want to have old flings hanging around, lying around, vying for her attention and her love and all that crap. Even though Romeo doesn't seem to be getting it, he keeps inviting himself and wanting to flirt with me. I don't know what she's going to do with Romeo. But hopefully Devin understands and he can move past this. Ebenezer hates our guts. He ha he wants nothing to do with us. He, do he doesn't even want to be friends with us. Which, that's fine. That's fine. So, um, I really do hope things work out for Isabel. I'm like, she's a good girl. She got her head on her shoulders. I'm like, she's almost about to fulfill her lifetime wish, you know, in her career. And um, she's engaged to the man that she truly loves. I just really hope things work out for her. Just now that she thinks she's pregnant, but she's not quite sure that she is, you know, that's what happens when you take a chance with hooing with someone and not protecting yourself. So right now she's feeling nauseous. Her back is hurting. You know, her clothes are not fitting her right. So... Yeah, we're assuming that she is pregnant, even though the moonlit doesn't show, but I'm assuming that she is. So, she's going to have to tell Theo that she's pregnant, and the thing is, he dislikes children. So, I don't know how that's going to work out, and he's married, to top it off, even though he said that he is going to get a divorce. But we'll see what happens. He said he was going to confess to her um, his true feelings, so we don't know if that's even true. I guess, you know, we'll find out in the next parts. Okay, guys. So, once again, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to sub, like, and comment. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, also, uh, check out Sims World TV. The link is on the description. It's a wonderful we uh, website that um, has other um, LPs, other kinds of videos. It, there's just a whole bunch of fun stuff there. Go check it out. And once again, thanks for watching. Happy simming and have a suspicious day.